Britain's environmental minister says his government will ban the sale of new gasoline and diesel engine cars by 2040. Grams it on for Bingham with a gam gum. Preach it on the upper with the drum gun. Friday. That spells fun. Ah, this is going to be fun. This is great. This is really fun. If I was having any more fun, I explode. Tell me that isn't the dumbest show ever created. You guys are stupid. Idiotic. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. 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 I've been played like a dimwit's kazoo. Who are you? Who is on first? I'm asking you who's on first. That is the most idiotic thing I have ever heard. Showtime. Hi, everybody, and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. George and Amal Clooney will soon help send thousands of Syrian refugees to school. The couple's organization, the Clooney Foundation for Justice, is partnering with UNICEF and Google to devote $2.25 million towards seven public schools in Lebanon. Computer giant HP is throwing in an additional $1 million in technology grants. Support from the foundation Foundation will cover the cost for 3,000 Syrian children to attend school in Lebanon, including registration fees, teacher salaries, and textbooks. Well done, Mr. and Mrs. Clooney. Well, it seems like Donald Trump has been behaving like a four-year-old for a long time now. In fact, two years before Donald Trump was sworn in as Commander-in-Chief, he was on his way to playing the very same role in Sharknado 3, Oh Hell No. After not being able to cast their number one pick, Sarah Palin, producers reached out to the Donald to see if he was interested in the role. He was thrilled to be asked, but after Trump announced his campaign for real-life president, communication between the Sharknado team and his camp became strained. They decided to give the role to Mark Cuban. Apparently, the decision upset Trump so much, his lawyer threatened to sue the production. Another toddler temper tantrum. His hair and makeup are perfect, and he got canned after only 10 days. He used profane language about White House officials. His wife filed for divorce. He missed the birth of his baby to be with Trump, but Scaramucci wants you to know he ain't all bad he's doing a facebook live event today to tell his side of the story here's a preview i was up now i'm down white house job not around they gave me the scooch but come this friday you'll hear it all from the mooch my words were bad, makeup was good, my wife left me, like she should. I've really screwed the pooch. But I'll tell you all on Friday, at a major event with the mooch. Now I'm back, back at home, all by myself, all alone. But if you want to keep in touch, then FaceTime me live on Friday and get ready for the mooch. Donald Trump called the White House a real dump. I agree. Can we get at least one waterfall in the lobby? Older people are dying on the job at a higher rate than others. Scientists believe this could possibly be caused by the fact that they're, you know, older. You can read more about this study in the new issue of Chewing Through Our Grant Money So We Can Get More Next Year magazine. The NAACP is advising against travel to Missouri. Also advising against travel to Missouri, everyone else, ever. On his new show, The Low Files, Rob Lowe has seen some amazing things, like Bigfoot, evidence of ghosts, and Andy Dick walking down Sunset Strip without his scrotum hanging out. A new study finds that you can immediately lower your stress by talking to yourself in the third person. I would ask myself to please explain to me what the third person is. Bill Cosby's lead defense lawyer has quit, so great news for all you lawyers out there who've been dying to defend an unrepentant rapist. Kanye West's insurance companies are refusing to pay for the tour he canceled last year because he lied about being mentally unstable. Okay, I don't think you have to be Johnny Cochran to figure out that they're gonna lose big on this one. 
Time for Nobody Gives a Fuck. Al Gore's home reportedly devours 40% more electricity than the average home, and that's just his ice cream maker. Hey, climate change boy, nobody gives a f Justin Bieber has revealed he's spending time with his biological father. So have fun, Justin Bieber and Satan. Hey, Biebs, nobody gives a f and former White House Paisan Anthony Scaramucci will make $75,000 a speech, which works out to about a dollar per F-bomb. Hey, Mooch, nobody gives a f Thanks, everybody. We have a new episode of The Reynolds Report for you every weekday. Be sure to check out NSS Live starring Frank D'Angelo and his celebrity panel of guests, including the legendary Phil Esposito. Tuesdays and Thursdays, NSS Live.